All right, let's try to break down how they shot the knives out to the glass onion with some behind the scenes footage. I watched the movie in theater and I noticed a lot of camera movements. So let's try to see how they did it. All right, here's the behind the scenes footage that I found on YouTube. As you can see, they have a techno crane on track pushing it in. Not too much you can do lighting wise because you're shooting day exterior and it's a very wide angle. It's backlit and that's pretty much it. Here's another clip. It's a little tighter so the grip just added in a bounce card from the key side to wrap the sunlight so the camera always stays in the shadow side. Here's another one inside. It's a night interior and you can see the full picture here. So the A-cam is on the techno crane that's doing uh, like a dolly out kind of movement. And what's good about using a techno is that you don't have to lay out a track and when you pull straight back, you won't see the track underneath it. And the B cam is on the side, probably getting some more coverage. And you can see the shot here. They actually didn't end up using the dolly out. They kind of did like a sweep in kind of move. And that's another good thing about the techno is that if you don't end up liking the movement, you can just do whatever you want. But if you're doing it on a dolly, you have to lay the track, do the move, figure out uh, it doesn't work, and then you have to take the track out, and it just takes way too much time. But on the techno, you can just try another move. Oh, this is a cool move. As the camera is booming down, it's also tilting up. It starts from the body, and then you'll see people coming in from the background. Uh, this is a fun one. So they're shooting beside a pool. You can see they're tracking the two people in the pool. And here's the shot. And the shot in the movie actually didn't move. If the camera is on the techno crane, it doesn't mean you have to move it. You can just choose to not move it, but also have the option to move if you want to. And you can see here, they got two grips in the pool. And one of them shut off trying to hold the camera and not let it fall in the water. When the camera is not moving, uh, it's on the gear head, as you can see here. I also found this clip of John Batista. John Batista? riding on a motorcycle, but he's not actually moving. It's being towed by a vehicle in front of him. And there's another techno crane here uh, getting the shot. But I actually couldn't find the shot in the movie because I think this is the scene where they get that shot for, because you can see the motorcycle here. But it actually just starts from him already at the house. So they actually didn't even end up using that shot. One thing that I noticed from the behind the scenes clip is this round dome thing. It keeps showing up in the shots. Uh, at first I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I saw this clip. So it's actually a little light that's probably being used for fill and an eye light. If you see really closely, you'll see the reflection in his eyes. Also here and here. Uh, and the number on the light is probably the number on the wireless dimmer board so the gaffer and the DP can just uh, dim up and down the light on the dimmer board. So it's a pretty neat way to control the lighting ratio. And you can see it again here in night exterior on the C stand low. And if you really zoom in, you can see that glint in his eyes. It's very minimal, but it's the details that makes the difference. And in this clip, you can see they're at a dinner table and they're shooting three cameras. Um, and the only way really you can do that and make it look somewhat decent is to have a top light, which is uh, what they have here. So this is actually, it's like a really long balloon light uh, on top of the dinner table so everyone gets even soft light and okay let's talk about some of the lighting setups in here if you've watched the movie you know the lighthouse so they actually recreate the lighthouse effect with some kind of rig i'll let steve yelling talk about it because he explains it better 
doesn't just go to night, it goes to the night with the lights off in this kind of film noir heightened lighthouse. Ryan really wanted to clearly feel that, you know, the light sweeps on and then the light sweeps off, you know, in a very heightened way. I mean, you know, if it was a real lighthouse, that would be a very fuzzy edged beam. It wouldn't feel like a hard sweep like that. I mean, it's all very dramatic. You know, we needed this thing to be incredibly controllable, repeatable, adjustable. And obviously that's a whole both software and hardware project to get that, you know. To, to... So basically it's a 20K inside of a rig and the rig will spin, the light will spill out of it and it will create like these kind of harsh shadows and it's programmable. So it's completely repeatable and controllable. Let's look at some nice exterior lighting setups. I found this clip. You can see they got two balloon lights hanging in the air to give it some cool ambience. And then there are two light panels, probably vortex or sky panels, bouncing into, it's probably like a 12 by ultra bounce. That's what's giving them the key light. And then you also got this lighthouse rig that they have here on the side and in the shot you can see the key light coming from the left is probably the ultra bounce and then whatever level is on the stairs here it's probably from the two moonlights also in this shot you can see them clearly move the ultra bounce to camera right to give it more shape so that they're not totally front lit like this pool of light on the stairs behind Daniel Craig. That's from the big balloon light in the air. The next challenge was how do we build it? Parts of the atrium and the glass onion itself, those were built in the UK. It was assembled there, it was taken apart, and it was all shipped to Belgrade, and we set it up on our stage there. This is amazing, just amazing. This is what you have big budgets for. All right, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe um, and bye.